The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, look, I've got 2001 and I've got seven. 2001 is my dividend. That's the thing I'm sharing out to lots of people. And seven is the divisor. That's how many groups I need to split it up into. Okay. So what's the first question I ask of 2001 and seven? What do I do with this? Yes. How many times seven goes into two? Very good. So I'm going to go through each one of these numbers and think about how many times I can fit it in there. How many times do I fit seven into two? Zero. Answer zero. And if you remember, when we're doing the diagnostic, right, it's really important you write zeros down. Don't just forget about like, oh, it doesn't matter because there are none. Zero really matters as a number. As you can see, this is 2001, not 21. So having written down zero, can't fit any sevens in there. How many sevens can I fit in 20? 20, yeah. Two. I can fit two because I go seven, 14. The next one's 21, which is too big. Okay. So now what do I do at this point? Now keep in mind, by the way, I'm trying to do this through long division and I'm trying to do less in my head if I can. Yes, Amy. Um, can I do um, 20 minus 14? Okay, so I've got 20 take away 2 times 7. That's where the 14 comes from, right? So I'm going to write that 14 down there. Do you remember this from going through long division? Okay, and I do the subtraction that Aiden was suggesting. So 20 take away 14, of course, is 6. Fantastic. Okay, now I can't fit any sevens in there, which is the whole point of saying this number, so I need to go to the next number. So some of you might like to draw that arrow down, like that, because I can't fit any in six. I'll bring the next number down, which happens to also be a zero. Okay, this is a bit of a big number. How many sevens can we fit in? Someone who hasn't said anything just yet, someone to offer? Yes, Maria? Eight. Eight, okay, let's try eight. Let me just see if I, I get it right. So, seven, can we say it together? Seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. It fits. What's the next one? The next one would be 63, which is too far. Okay, so Maria got it in one. So I'm going to write down eight up here. And eight times seven, like we just said, is 56. Why am I writing it down here again for? What's the point of doing that? Yeah. You need to subtract it. Yeah, so I can do the 60 take away 56. I know a lot of people are going to do the little numbers up here, and it's kind of okay, but I'm trying to avoid doing things up in my head, like this subtraction. If I write it down, that way I can know that it's going to be right. If I get it wrong, I can work out where it went wrong, rather than like a whole bunch of little numbers that I'm not sure what they mean. 60 take away 56 is... Is? Four. 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 Four, very good. And of course, I can't fit any sevens in there, so I bring down the last number, which is a one. Uh, we just went through on our fingers. We just rehearsed all those multiples. So how many multiples of seven can I fit in 41? And the answer is, yeah, Christian. Five. It's five. Very good. Okay. Now I've kind of run out of this space. I'm going to move this a bit further down. <coughs> okay, so now I will get to the remainder in a second. That's my very last step. So I've got 35 down here, five sevens. And now I'm going to do the subtraction, right? Last one. 41 take away 35? Six. Six. And there are no more numbers to pull down with arrows. So that's my remainder. Are you happy with that? Okay. Yeah. Okay, now because I've rubbed it off, can someone repeat to me what was the um what was it? Eleven divided by? What was it? Three five five four. Three five two four, is that right? Four, three five four two. Three five four two? Did I swap them around? Okay. So this time, rather than talking through it in so much detail, because I think now we've sort of got it in our head, I'll do this one a bit quicker and you can check your answer and also the way you set it out. Um, please, if you didn't write it down like this to show the long division, please copy it down. I'll leave it on the board for a second. When I'm looking through your bookmark, I'm not just looking, I've said this a few times, not just looking for that final number. 285 remainder 6 is important, but I want to see the journey that got you there, the logic that you demonstrated. Shai. Um, I'm mainly going to focus on these, okay? Because this way it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm explicitly sort of mentioning I'm expecting a really high standard and that you've marked and corrected your work and so on. I may have a peek through the rest of your book, but these are the main things I'm going to be paying attention to. Okay, we'll do this one quicker this time. I don't fit any 11s in the first number. I fit three 11s in the next one, right? So that's how this comes down and I subtract. So far, so good. I bring down the 4, and now I can fit in two 11s, right? which gives me 22, and then <laughs> I subtract. Okay. Last one, I bring down the 2, 22, again, I fit 2, and what's the remainder? 
There's no remainder. Did I get it right? Does it look okay? Yeah, people agree? Three. There you go. By the way, that's a bit of coincidence. I just made up those numbers on the spot. So I got lucky that I got a multiple of 11. Yes. Yep. I won't, I won't rub those off. I won't rub those off. Um, I will just leave those there. I suppose I should have right at the end, that's where the remainder comes out. Okay.